my wife drove this car yesterday so I had to readjust my seat when I got in this morning and the car is pulled in instead of backed in so now I'm having to back out which I don't usually have to do in the mornings but that's okay also one of the first things I usually do when I get in the car is hit the M2 button I show you the settings that I have for my M2 button the engine set on Sport Plus, the chassis on Sport, steering on Sport, brake on Sport. And that's my M2 setting. My M1 setting just moves the chassis over to Sport Plus and also puts it into manual shift mode. That's the manual shift mode in M1 and the auto mode in M2. And that's really the only difference right now in the M1 and M2 modes. Right now I'm still uh, under the 1200 mile break-in period so it's going to be about another 350 miles before I get that break-in service done and at that point I can then start revving it over 5,000 rpm which you can see right there actually it's over 4,000 I think is what I'm supposed to stay under until then um, but you can see it goes up to a little under seven before red line uh, now you can also come down here to the middle and hit this M mode button. And that gives you the option to change sport or track. And sport will change this. So your gear selection is more prominent than your miles per hour uh, and your RPM gauge is a little more prominent. And, that, and when I come to a stop, I can actually put it in a track mode. And I'm stop, I'm gonna put it in mode. I'm gonna go to track, hit track, activate track. And then it changes a little bit. It shows a little tire pressure monitor there on the left-hand side. Um, not a big change, but it also shuts down your center screen. I assume if you're on a track, you don't really care about the radio or any of your apps. So let me switch her back out of track mode. Put her back in the sport. There we go. Today is my wife's birthday, and later in the day we, we're both going to take off a little early I think and do a drive on the Foothills Parkway. It should be a nice day for it because the leaves have started to change a bit. Uh, we were at a cabin on the lake last week and the leaves had just started to change. It was pretty perfect weather. We did some canoeing and some other outdoor activities that were fun. But today's her birthday. Yesterday I, I drove her SUV and got the windows tinted as I showed you earlier. It's her birthday gift. So we got the windows tinted in the Shelby uh, about three or four months ago and we both really were surprised at how much we enjoyed that. And that's the next step for them too now is to get the windows tinted. I've also thought about uh, getting it ceramic coated. Uh, it's really expensive to have somebody else do it for you and so I started looking on YouTube about how to do it yourself getting a DA orbital polisher and uh, the, the stuff that you need in order to do the uh, paint correction and the ceramic coating. I did a clay bar and ceramic coat on the Shelby when I first got it. It wasn't a real high quality ceramic coat, so I had to do it again a couple years later. Did an okay job, but I'm thinking this time there's a couple little paint issues with the M2. I think maybe it was it was set outside, maybe at the uh, port for a while. I'm not really sure. It's got a couple of spots on the back that look like may have been uh, bird droppings that sat there for a while clouded the paint a bit in a couple spots and then on the way home from the Cincinnati dealer a rock hit the front and so I have a little scratch on the hood which is super annoying when it happened as you can imagine driving driving a new car home from the dealership I've been doing some research on how to fix that and how to do paint correction and clay bar and ceramic coat and how to do it all properly as a as a professional would do it um, so I think I'm going to get the equipment to do that, and I'm going to practice on our SUV. Then I'll do the Shelby again, except do it correctly this time, and finally this car. Because I certainly don't want to mess up Toronto red metallic paint on this car, because you, if you mess that up, you're definitely going to see it. So this is going to be the last one I do, um, just to make sure that I have some practice and know what I'm doing a little bit. But that's going to be a project that takes a little time. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, not just to save money, but also build a new skill, new life skill, learn something, challenge yourself a little bit. You know, I could just drop it off at a shop and pay 
sixteen hundred dollars and have them do it, but we're going to do something a little more interesting. Uh, so this is my drive to work. It's nothing exciting, uh, especially when I'm in a break-in period on a new car. And the Shelby's its own experience, even if you're going slow, uh, just because of the sound and sh you're shifting gears and you have that beautiful sounding V8 engine and the flat plane crank. And so the Shelby's a driving experience, even if you're not really doing much of anything. But I, honestly, I just I cannot wait to I can put this thing through its paces and see what it can do. One thing I've noticed so far, too, is even not being able to fully rev it out and, and fully use all the horsepower, in the rain, these tires and this rear-wheel drive does not have very good traction. And I don't know if it's the Pirellis that came on this one. I know the PS4s, Michelin PS4s, were an option. Those are what I run on the Shelby, the Michelin PS4s. And I ne have never have a problem with traction in the Shelby. Now, it doesn't have as much low end torque as this car. It's more of a high rever, so that could be part of the issue. Um, and also, the traction control on the Shelby is amazing. If you just do, do a little bit too much, it will save you really quick. Um, this car seems to have really good traction control as well, but um, it does get a little squirrely a little quicker in the wet, I've noticed. So I'm going to keep the Pirellis until we run them down a bit and then uh, I may switch over to the PS4s just for better daily driving. Okay, I managed to get a spot here without a car in front of me, so I'm going to take off without going over 4,000 RPMs. Funny story yesterday because I took my wife's SUV in to get the windows tinted. Um, she drove this car. She, I planned that a couple months ahead of time. She works from home, and so I expected her just to be home all day, and I would be able to take the edge in, and it'd be no big deal because sometimes I drive it, and she'd have no idea that I was getting anything done to it. I would be just driving the car that day as far as she was concerned. But of course, yesterday she ends up planning a lunch and an appointment and. A couple of things she had to go to so I ended up having to tell her look I have to take your car I'm doing something to it so she knew something was up I think she probably figured I was getting the windows tinted after having the Shelby done she drove the BMW yesterday and she calls me up after her appointment and to ask me how to shift it back into drive because she's got it in first gear and paddle shift mode and she uh, revved it a little high leaving the uh, office complex and it kind of startled her a little bit and why it didn't shift. And then she figured it out on her own that she needed to shift the paddles, but she didn't know how to change it back to auto mode, which is understandable. I told her what to do and she did it and, and got home fine. And she didn't have any problems the rest of the day with it. The way it works is right now it's in auto mode. And to get in auto mode, you push your stick to the right and that puts it into drive. Uh, and to switch back to paddle shift mode, all you do is push the stick again and it changes. Here, I'll do it now. I'm gonna go into auto. You see the 5D for drive, and then I'll go back in the paddle shift mode, and it changes just to the gear selector. So that's all you have to do, it's real easy. One thing I noticed making these videos is that I pause a lot between words when I'm talking, and it's something that I hadn't really paid much attention to previously. That's, that's actually a benefit to making these videos is I'm learning and working a little better on how I communicate and how I talk to make things a little more interesting. The last video I made, the montage video of my buying the car, so I edited the audio quite a bit to cut out a lot of the pauses and a lot of the ums and previous videos I, I didn't really know how to do that yet or didn't pay attention to it yet. So but that's part of the growth, that's part of the fun of doing something like this, uh, doing anything in life that's new and different. I'm glad it's something that I'm aware of now, something that I can work on. It's always good to grow and challenge yourself a little bit even in small ways like that. All right, well, I have arrived at work. Um, have somebody looking at me wondering why I'm talking to myself, but and, you know, that's a good thing about modern cars too, is because I can sit here and talk in the car and it looks like I'm talking on my hands-free, uh, except for the fact that I'm holding my phone up and obviously filming. <laughs> All right, I'm breaking out early a little today. Um, as I mentioned before, it's my wife's birthday. Hopefully we get to celebrate tonight. We have a sick dog, our, our Bullmaster Gracie. Hasn't been able to hold down food very well the last few days. We've been in touch with the vet and she's been able to hold down water. She's got some stomach or esophagus irritation. It's causing her to uh, not be able to hold down her food. So depending on how well she's doing when I get home, will depend on what we do. But the plan is, is to enjoy this beautiful day a little bit, take the new car on the Foothills Parkway. Hopefully do a little video of that as well. But yeah, let me give it a little cold start now. It's been a few hours.
All right, we're running a little low on fuel. Uh, obviously, if we're going to do any driving this evening, I need to put some gas in. And then uh, hopefully we'll get some video this evening on the Foothills Parkway and go out for a nice dinner. Well, that was interesting. My BMW just asked if I wanted it to search for gas stations because I'm running low on gas. Never had a car ask me that before. I told it no. I know where the gas stations are. But it was nice. One thing I have to remember in this car is that the gas cap is on the right. I don't do all German cars do that or is it just BMWs? I know our 340 that we had before, the Shelby, uh, the gas cap was on the right. But all of our American cars are on the left. I mentioned earlier doing a drive on the Foothills Parkway. If you're not familiar with East Tennessee and this part of the country, there's some uh, great driving roads here. There's the Foothills Parkway, the Tell of the Dragon, the Devil's Dri Triangle, the Sokoa Highway. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that one correctly. Uh, we've driven on all those with the Shelby Mountain Run crew, which is uh, about 120 other Shelby owners get their cars uh, together for about four days during the summer, usually in July. We've done that three years in a row now. It's a lot of fun. I'm really thankful to have access to these roads. You know, as somebody who enjoys driving, especially curvy roads, this is a great place to live. The only thing negative about East Tennessee are the allergens. If you have allergies, then it's not a great place to move to. But other than that, it's, it's beautiful. Good people, typically. Uh, nice scenery. We actually get four seasons. You can see the leaves are changing here. Hopefully we can get up to the foothills today. Hopefully Gracie's feeling uh, well enough and she's held down her food today. Yeah, I know this car is going to be a lot of fun when it can really rev it to over 4,000 RPMs. Just listen when it drops down a gear, how long it holds the gear. Holding, 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 holding. Still holding. Up oh, there we go. Okay, it's shifted down. And now we're home. Let's go check on Gracie. Hopefully she's doing okay. There's Luke. There's Luke. Hey, buddy. There's my boy. There's Gracie. Hey, Gracie. Doing okay? Yeah. Okay. I gotta put my stuff down.